Hey guys! Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for this one because it's a continuation of my last ride through the beautiful trails in Kinmount, Ontario's Victoria Forest. If you caught that last video, you'll know we tackled the northern section, mostly single track north of Monk Road number 45, with some nice flowy terrain. Those were rated as easy by the OFTR, but they were perfect for getting warmed up. Today, we're stepping it up a notch and heading south to explore some of the tougher stuff. We're talking double wide trails with a bit more spice. Starting with the railbred, straight south to trail number 80. Now, trail number 80 comes with a most difficult rating, bright pink on the OFTR map, and I was eager to see if it lived up to the hype. From there, we looped back up to trail number 70, which is rated as advanced. Now, I don't always agree with the difficulty rating of the trails, and I'm sure the awesome volunteers at the OFTR would agree when I say that a trail's difficulty can change a lot depending on the weather. Apparently, it's been a rainy summer in the area, so there was a fair amount of mud on the trails, which meant sticking to first or second gear for most of it, taking a lot of go-rounds, or even creating my own lines to keep moving. The 80 wasn't too bad, aside from a few big, steep rock slabs that really tested my line choices. Even with the mud, it was still a fun, challenging navigation through it all and keeping pace steady. By the time we hit the southern trails, we'd already logged about 25 kilometers of single track up north, so I was starting to feel the burn. Towards the end, I made a silly mistake upshifting instead of downshifting on a hill and ended up dropping my bike twice in a row. But hey, it happens, so stick around and see how the rest of the ride went. trail we're on is trail 190, also known as the gully, and it's rated advanced. I'm guessing the rating comes from the water crossing right here. It was pretty deep, water was up over my fender, and the bottom is covered in sharp rocks. So it can get a little bit sketchy if you're not familiar with it. point and I think I upshifted rather than downshifted. I don't know if I shifted up to third or fourth. I don't even know what I did. Yeah, I don't know. I hit the wrong gear somehow. <laughs> Thank you. Like I said, we're way up from the parking lot, right? No, we're very close. We're like right here. Make a right, oh, and then the left. You can take the road or just make a left and it'll take us to the road. Also, I've got to say, the more I use my Ride More Worry Less bar bag, the more I love it. Having my phone, GoPro batteries, radio, and even Kleenex right at hand has been a game changer. No more digging through my pack, just more time in the seat. If you don't have a bar bag yet, I'd highly recommend you get one. Well, that's a wrap for today. Make sure to stick around for the next video. I've got plenty more trails to show you in Gooderim, aka Corduroy Enduro Country, and you'll see exactly why they're worth the ride. <laughs>